Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 38. So yesterday I presented you a DocuSign kind of hack, if you will, a time-saving tool there to email documents directly to your DocuSign room. Today I have one more DocuSign hack, if you will, and that's the ability to actually email emails to your DocuSign rooms and create PDFs out of them. So I'll show you a use case. Let's dive into our test opportunity. So we're gonna go into opportunities, the sixth applet down, the handshake. Let's get into that opportunity that we were working previously. And we're gonna come into the documents tab. We're gonna to go to transaction. That's gonna open up our DocuSign room. And we're gonna go into that room and as a refresher, Remember that you have a DocuSign email that you can find underneath Inbox. And if I go to Inbox, here's my DocuSign email. And additionally, each one of our rooms has a room number. So let's go back to our Quack Lane room and you'll see that we've got the room number here. I can even copy and paste it, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off by copying our room number. Then we're going to come to an email. Let's say we've got an email that we want to send to our DocuSign room as a PDF. This email might have negotiations with another agent. It might contain discussions with a client on negotiations, qualifications, etc. It might even be an email from a lender that we want to document. Just any reason we might want to save an email to a DocuSign room. How we're going to do that is we're going to forward the email and the first thing that we want to forward it to is right as our DocuSign email. So that's marty.miller at mails.docusign.net. And then we want to edit the subject. The first thing we want to do on the subject line is put in the room number. And then we want to hit space and we want to do hashtag PDF and then space and whatever we want the document to be called. So this might be, um, buyer consultation or buyer needs analysis, right? So we've uh, talked to them and they've given us everything they need for their buyer needs analysis. Now, just a tip, uh, anything that's on this email is going to be involved in the PDF. So you don't necessarily need all this from and to or your signature. I wouldn't get it as clean as possible with regards to the email. Take out the signatures, take out the from and the to, so that way it's really straightforward and simple. So we're going to go ahead and click on send. And now when we go back to our DocuSign room and we go back into documents, we're now looking for a PDF that's called buyer analysis. And just like yesterday, it does take a minute or so to kind of show up. But pretty soon, if we do a refresh, we should see a room doc that's called buyer consultation. And it'll essentially be a PDF that DocuSign has created for this actual email that we forwarded. Now, I know many of you might be saying, well, Marty, I have the email. Why do I need to create a PDF out of it? Guys, typically when you need this email, it's not gonna be today or tomorrow. It might be six months, 12 months. You know, you may even be saving things that are really um, sensitive stuff, right? Sensitive emails that have gone back and forth that in the event of something happening, you want to access in the future, right? If it was a legal issue or whatever. Uh, so those would be the reasons why I might be saving particular emails. So um, this is taking a little bit longer than I expected, but if we go back into our inbox, you can see it's not in the inbox. So we just wanna go back into that room and we wanna go back and open the room and look for the documents tab there to have that actual email. So here it is, did take just a little bit longer, about a minute and a half there. But if we click on buyer needs analysis, here is that email. Now it throws in a few kind of random characters here and it did this on, on to us last time. Um, but you can see that you got the majority of the content of that email and what was sent. Now, if you did want to have the from and the to and the date and the time, you might not want to delete that. Looking back, I probably shouldn't have deleted that. So that way I had that, you know, for posterity's sake. But again, remember, whatever you forward, that's what's actually going to show up inside of that email. So that's your quick and easy way to take an email, send it to your DocuSign room, and create a flat PDF out of that specific email and its content for use in the future. That's it for today, guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to connecting with you again real soon.